Got her place, went to the party now. That's an adverb. She said, like, should I try some? I said, baby, love it, can't hurt. I'll buy hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melanie Gold here. So today I'm coming to you with a Fenty Beauty lipstick swap. Rihanna came out with this 14, 15 shades of lipstick colors. And let me tell you, the way I ran to Sephora, like I literally ran, okay? And I got all the, no, I don't think I got all the shades. I got nine shades, I think. I'm gonna do a lip swatch so you guys can see how it applies on my skin tone. Before we even start this video, okay? Hit that subscribe button right now. And tell me what videos you'd like to see me do and tell me what products you'd like to see me review because I'm kind of a product junkie, okay? So this is, this is like up my alley. Like I like to buy a lot of stuff, I'm a shopaholic so why not review them for you guys so let me know what you'd like to see me review and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so the first color I'm going into is Madame package of the lipstick itself is really nice like this is very different like Fenty has really good packaging this is how Madame looks So I'm getting Ruby Woo vibes from this lip color. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to take this off. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you know me, you know red is my freaking favorite lipstick because huh? what? Okay, I can't. I can't. This lipstick is bomb. This red is popping and this is without a liner this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite lipsticks right now because even the way i'm looking at it on camera like this red is freaking gorgeous i'm done i'm done i don't want to take can i try this first why did i try this first but this is more matte although it's not matte where it's like drying where it's like you can't talk but i've had lipsticks that when i apply it my lips literally stick together it's like a problem like talking becomes a problem when i apply those lipstick like that's how dry it is so but this doesn't feel like that this is really nice and it's matte it's okay matte like it's not really matte matte but i like the way it feels it's not drying at all it's really nice i like this formula all right so i'm gonna try the next lipstick um i applied some foundation on my lips in case you were wondering why my looks my lips look like they haven't uh, seen lip balm in like 20 years, that's why, okay? <laughs> the next color that I'm gonna take is uh, Griselda. It is kind of a deeper color, kind of a deeper red. Love the way this, honestly, I don't think I can go back to normal lipsticks after this not even because it's like Rihanna like it's Fenty lipsticks no but because of the way it applies like the colors are giving you matte vibes but it doesn't feel matte it doesn't apply matte it's not drying on the lips like this lipsticks are like $23 um, but it's definitely worth it I tend to shy away from deeper colors but oh my god this color is freaking bomb like what is this Wow, wow, Rihanna, like, oh my gosh. The next shade that I'm going to try is this one called the Candy Venom. This is a deeper pink, it's a rich pink color. Very nice and very pretty. So this is Candy Venom and this is freaking amazing. I love this color as well. So. Fenty, girl, you just gonna take all my coins like that. So I'm, I'm about to be broke. Like, I'm about to be broke as hell because all my money is going to Fenty. And see, if you're not trying to hire me as one of your models, like, you need to stop creating these bomb ass products because I need to stop spending. These lipsticks will get you husband. Get your husband 2018. This lipstick is bomb. The next lipstick I'm going to try is the color called Spank. Is it spanked? No, spanked. The color is called spanked. So I definitely think this is one of those colors that for my skin tone, especially without a lip liner, you don't want to apply too much because it will look kind of crazy. But I didn't apply too much. I just kind of applied a little bit and it's popping, okay? 
it's popping. I'm trying my best not to use a lip liner with this product. Um, just to see, get a real feel, just so you guys can get a real feel of how the lipsticks are, like without the liner, without any manipulation. So this is the color Spanked. This is how it looks on me. Again, the freaking formula is really nice because it gives you that matte color look, that feel, because I know I hate, I really hate creamy lipsticks. So it doesn't look creamy. It doesn't feel like creamy it feels moisturizing but it gives a matte feel like anyone sees it they will instantly know you're wearing a matte lipstick but you don't feel like you're wearing a matte lipstick like I haven't applied lip balm to my lips once because it's not drying like I've done reviews for lipstick swatches for other lips like for other matte lipsticks and I've had to apply lip balms just to keep my lips moisturized and keep them from falling off but this doesn't give you that so the next color I'm going to apply is called Saucy. So this is a really rich orange color so I'm kind of nervous to see how this would apply on my skin tone so let's see. So this color is definitely more, um, this color is definitely more moisturizing than the other ones that I tried. It's more creamy than the other ones. Um, I don't know how I feel about this color. What do you guys think? Mm, it's nice, but it's definitely one of the colors that I feel like you need a lip liner for. Personally, I think I need a lip liner for, or I could have applied a little bit less. Um, it is a nice color, but it's not one of my favorites, you know? But it's nice. I mean, it's a nice orange. So the next color I will be applying is called the PMS. It looks like this. This is actually how much product you have. This is a deeper brown. Um, this actually matches my hair. And this feels creamy as well. This is a cr definitely a creamier formula. So the next color I'm going to apply is called Shoddy. So, so definitely in love with this color but I don't think I have a color like this so as you can see it even looks creamier on camera I can already see that it looks creamier but this is a really pretty color so the next color I will be applying is freckle fiesta and this was the one that I tried yesterday um, this color definitely lasts a really long time so it will transfer but it really lasts a long time like I had this I applied this last night and I slept in it and I woke up and I still had it <laughs> in my um on my lips so this color these colors last a long time so i tested that they do last a long time but they will transfer so this is freckle fiesta so for these colors that are kind of a lot my suggestion will be to not apply so much like just kind of apply a little bit so it's not too much that way it doesn't come out looking weird I applied it at the top and then i kind of used the top to transfer to the bottom um so it's not too much because I find that when you put too much of it that's when it starts looking weird and I'm also just dabbing it on my lips I'm not like applying it like this so it's not too much okay guys so the last color I will be applying for today is clapback and this when I saw the promo the poster for this this was the color that I saw Rihanna wear Ooh, it kind of reminds me of denim like denim jeans um, this color is so pretty. Oh wow. Never thought I would actually fall in love with a blue color ever in my life. But this color slays. Oh my god. So guys, so that's it for my Fenty Beauty lip swatch review. Um, some of my favorites were, um, I really like the PMS. I really like the Madame Spanked. I liked Griselda. I liked Shoddy. Um, and I really like the Freckle Fiesta, but in all, uh, to be honest, I really enjoyed all the lipsticks that I got. Um, I enjoyed all of it. I loved all of it. There was, n I didn't get the crazy one, so maybe that's why I really like. I picked the ones that I would actually see myself wearing. So yeah, that's it for the Fenty Beauty review. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I was detailed enough as I tried to be in this video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I just want to say thank you guys for always supporting me and watching the videos and liking, commenting. Um, and I want to wish you guys a happy, happy holidays. Um, I know that I didn't wish you a Merry Christmas because I didn't put a video right before Christmas, but Merry Christmas. I know Christmas is over, but Merry Christmas and a happy and a happy new year to you guys. And I hope that all your dreams, all your wishes, your goals and everything, I hope you fulfill everything. And I wish you every ounce of joy, happiness, love and success in 2018. Oh.